Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we're going to discuss about coal and petroleum. So till far, we have discussed about in this chapter based on management of natural resources. So we have seen that some of the issues involved in conservation of and sustainable use of resources like forests, wildlife and water till far. Okay. These can meet our needs perpetually if we were to use them in a sustainable matter, manner. Now we come to know yet another important resource which are fossil fuels. Okay, that is coal and petroleum, which are also important sources of energy for us. Since the industrial revolution, we have been using increasing amount of energy to meet our basic needs and the manufacture of a large goods okay so we need to manage these energy resources so the management the management of these energy sources involves involves slightly different perspectives what we have discussed for these forests different perspective from the resources from resources like forest wildlife and water okay so coal and petroleum coal and petroleum were formed from the degradation from degradation of biomass of biomass millions of years ago okay and hence these are resources and hence these are resources that will be that will be exhausted in the exhausted in future in the future no matter how carefully we use them no matter how carefully we use them okay so and we would need to look for alternative sources of energy but looking to other sources of energy is not the only consideration let me first relate this looking for other sources of energy is not the only consideration is not the only consideration when we look at the consumption of coal and petroleum
okay since coal and petroleum have been formed from biomass in addition to carbon these contain hydrogen nitrogen and sulfur so they contain hydrogen nitrogen and sulfur also okay and when these are burnt they form acid rain students which we have discussed in our earlier classes also okay so some simple choices can make a difference in our energy consumption patterns so what are the think over the relative advantages and disadvantages so we should make our choices so i am writing here some simple choices can make a difference because if we continue to use them like they also produce hydrogen nitrogen and sulfur and when the oxides of sulfur and nitrogen mix with the air of the atmosphere they produce harmful substances like acid rain and there is also a uh, greenhouse effect also there okay and they are also the main reason for global warming so what are the choices we have taking a bus using your personal vehicle instead of using personal vehicle all the times all time using fluorescent bulbs in your houses in your homes okay so you can think of the advantages and disadvantages of this using the lift or taking the stairs so instead of lift taking the stairs has the advantages over the lift so these are some of the choices which can make a difference students so taking a bus instead of using personal vehicle all the times will save petrol okay so using bulbs whenever they are necessary and or switch off the bulbs whenever they are not in use taking the stairs instead of taking the lifts so these are some choices you can make on your own to save our natural resources like coal and petroleum because when you will uh, use the lift electricity is needed and how electricity is generated you know that the coal is used lot of the times when we generate the electricity so students by this our chapter completes on management of natural resources and if you have still any doubt or any question then please do comment in the comment section students i will be happy to help you guys there thank you happy learning